guys, Nick here with a brand new unboxing video. Now, technically, it's not really unboxing because I have a different game in. Why? Um, I decided to start playing it when I bought it because I was at a doctor's office waiting. I'm like, I'm just going to play it. But the unboxing video is going to be of One Piece Unlimited World Red. I'm like, why is it called Red? I had to look it up. It's called Red because that's one of the character names you're going to fight in the game. So it's like, okay, what's the point? Right. I thought it was like a red, blue, green versions, whatever. No, it's actually red. Because. All right. On the front, you got Luffy and the crew. And some people, if you watch the American version only, a lot of people you won't know who they are. Now, Frankie looks completely different. Robin looks different altogether. Her face is completely different. Uh, Nami wears a small top the entire time. She doesn't wear her like a little shirt or anything. So she's basically full cleavage throughout the entire game, from what I can see. Chopper has a little hat on his head. Uh, so I mean, they they all look bad though. Zolo has a big scar on his chest, one on his face. Luffy has a big X one all across the front of his chest. You know, everyone's all beat up, but. Uh, like I said, the game's already in there. There's a DLC thing. The code's not on the front, so I'm not afraid to show it. It basically shows what kind of costumes you're going to get, because you got the Day 1 DLC, which is, I don't know what it's for, but I think it's pretty cool. You get extra costumes. Uh, Luffy looks different. It's like, what, you get the Straw Hat Crew Japanese 15th Anniversary costumes. And you also get Flame of... Flame Fist and Straw Hat Quest, which has his brother in it, and Luffy's Strong World Adventure costume. You get all that right there. That's pretty cool. So, if you get the game today, this is what you get. Or if you get the game as long as they have the Day 1 editions, which is specifically on the box, that's what you get. Uh, read the back, I forgot. Experience the new age of One Piece. Unlimited gameplay. Freely explore the world of One Piece. The Explore the One Piece world. Sorry. I'm on, I'm on like, episode one. I don't know how many episodes are in the game. They're, it's laid out like the show. You basically beat the episode. It says to be continued on top screen. And then you, uh, you get returned back to some villa or something. Play with friends, battle, fish, and catch bugs in co-op multiplayer. Original story. New characters designed by series creator Ichiro Oda. Each, each year. So basically, this game has nothing to do with what well, does. It has the characters and everything. But it's an original story. So you're not going to play this game thinking, oh, it's just something a part of the anime. No, it's his original story. Now, it could be from the manga, manga, whatever. But as far as I know, this is game exclusive, which is awesome. Uh, let's see. Co-op co plays basically online, of course. Uh, T for your com <coughs> cartoon violence, comic relief, mild language, suggestive themes, and use of tobacco. Oh. My guess is a lot of like sexual humor. It's, it's normal because Sanji. I mean, he's in here too. He Sanji looks the same except he has a little goatee thing, like that, like there. He doesn't have all that like I do. But I played a little bit of it. I'm gonna go ahead and knock this out of the way. I play. Yes, I'm doing this on screen. I'm putting the game back in the box. I played a little bit of it. It is a beat 'em up big game, basically, not side scrolling. But you basically go up to the enemies, fight them during ga end gameplay. Uh, there's uh, Y and X are attacks. Uh, X being like a smash attack or grab grapple attack. Y being the combo attacks. B is the jump up ability. A is check button, nothing really to use. Uh, the, uh, the L button brings your camera back in front of you. The L button displays your little, uh, a little box that pops up that gives you special abilities to use. And the camera, it's not on here. You have to use like right around here to use your camera, which all you have to do is just flip your button over, or button, thumb over and just move the camera. So it's not that bad of a hassle, but if you wanted to do it in like classic style, you have to have the little attachment thing that goes to the side of this, which I'm not spending like how much is it, forty or dollars or something on it. I don't know how much it is, but yeah, the game 
seems good so far. I mean, the last One Piece game was uh, was an RPG, which it was okay. I got so far in the game, I'm like, this is starting to get boring because the, it wasn't. You know, you can run around and stuff, but you still have to wait and attack, and they can attack you. It's just like an RPG, but I think One Piece is better with, you know, the leveling up part, which that game does have. You can level up and distribute the points and then the battling is just like hack and slash beat em up game that would be better for me that's why I, that's why i purchased the game so thank y'all for watching hope you enjoyed it there's gonna be more videos today if this one's not first it'll be second there's another game co another a let's play finally coming out because it's been like two weeks since the last Mega Man ones. So right after this, I'm shooting it. So I will see y'all then. Peace.